Hello everybody, E here, I got packaged. Uh, today is one I've been waiting on for a while, uh, just a couple months. Uh, super excited about this, this is my birthday present to myself. Uh, it is from Sunt Up. Sunt Up? Is that how you pronounce it? Sunt Up Editions. It is my first one from them. Uh, I missed, unfortunately, I missed their version of uh, Misery. I just didn't know that it existed until I started seeing them popping up on Instagram with people unboxing them, and I was very, very upset. Uh, I do not, uh, I'm not a part of any groups like uh, the Stephen King Collectors Group on Facebook, any of that stuff. So I'm sometimes I'm late to the party. I always know the, the newest news about the... Uh, um, the movies and TV shows and adaptations and all that stuff. Uh, but when it comes to collectibles, if it's not Cemetery Dance, I usually don't know about it. So um, if you guys ever have heads up as far as Joe Hill or Stephen King is concerned for limited editions, please let me know. This thing is already better packaged than uh, the Cemetery Dance editions. But we're going to... Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so this is just a piece of uh, pack packing. Uh, this is a... We're going to look at all this stuff close up. I just want to unbox this the way it is. Um, this is a bookmark. I'm, I'm stoked for the bookmark because you guys know I love bookmarks. But this is what we've gotten. Oh my gosh. It's even... Look at that. Look at the inside. The, the packaging is amazing. All right, guys. Blessed shall you be when you go in. All right. Yeah, and this is Horns by Joe Hill, the Sunt Up Limited Edition. Man, I'm so excited for this. All right, we're we're gonna do like we normally do uh, with these things, or as as we just recently started doing with Sleeping Beauties, and I think I did uh, Nosferatu also. Um, Nosferatu was an unboxing, but it was like a, a reboot, a redo of my unboxing of that one. But we are going to go over to the uh, the cabinet now, and I'm going to show this joker off. Uh, I'll take the plastic off then. But yeah, I'll see you over there. Okay, guys, here we are. Um, I'm going to go ahead, and we are going to be very, very careful here. I'm just going to run the tip of this through here. Make sure I don't cut anything I'm not supposed to. And then we're going to... This is much smaller than I thought it would be. And that's perfectly fine. The, the bigger ones are actually harder to read if you ever decide to read them. Uh, if you collect these books, um, as long as they have the slip case, you can keep them in the plastic. But if they're not uh, in the slip case, then you need to take the plastic off as soon as possible. Um, it will actually damage the book. It can become fused with the book. I'm trying to get this in frame. Look at that joker. Give you a moment to look at it. Alright. Now we are going to put this back here. I'm going to let you guys, wow. let you guys see the, the cover. Look at that beauty, man. Look at that beauty. See, that's what the, and then we got, oh, no, come on, there you go, look at the back of that for a minute, and then we are going to layer down, and I'm going to remove, this is the artist's gift edition, look at that gold foil stamp, then we are going to remove this part. I'm going to let you guys look at that. There you go. Then I'm going to take this. I'm going to put the, the book down here. I'm going to put the dust jacket over here so nothing happens to it while we're looking at the book. I don't want it to fall onto the floor or anything. Alright, here we go. Now, let you guys see the the spine without the dust jacket okay and there's nothing on the back it's just red cloth binding okay here we go open it up 
Yeah, there we go. Okay, then we're going to go through, I'm going to find all the pictures. Wow, look at that. I see that. Very nice. See if we can get this in some more. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and the next one. Oh, wow. What's her name? Merle? Merrill, I think is her name. That is pretty. Alright, next one. Oh, cool. So this is in church. You got... See? That's a uh, egg. That's Meryl. I'm pretty sure I got these names right. Let me move my hand so we can get the focus back. Alright. Then. That's Ig and Merrill at the. Isn't that the diner or the bar or whatever? I'm going to try not to spoil this for anybody who hasn't read the book. Yeah. Alright. Next up. We have quite a bit before the next picture. I remember there's a whole chunk of this book where very little happens. This is amazing. This is the house. Actually, it's going to... I mean, spoilers, obviously. Maybe. Where uh, the old rundown house... When he ends up finding out he can control snakes. Yeah. And then there's another one right after this. Oh, yeah. The tree house. Man, this artwork is fantastic. I'm going to have to look to see who did the... Let's check right now. Huh? Um, Magdalena Caxon. This edition of Horns is limited to a thousand copies signed by Joe Hill and Magdalena Caxon. That's the signature page. Sorry, I forgot to show you all. I'm sure I would have heard about it <laughs> had, I never sh had I not shown it at all. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Look at that. That's amazing. Okay, so, next. Going to the next picture. Is that one or is that... No, that's not one. Okay. So, I think there's one right... Yeah, there's one right here. Oh, yeah. This is Meryl waiting out in the rain for Ig. Yeah. The Pit is the name of the diner or the bar. I think it's just a diner. Because I think they're young people in this. I don't think they're actually drinking age. Might be. I can't remember. And then there's the... That's a plot point. That is gorgeous. This this edition is gorgeous. In fact, I might say it's better than most of the cemetery dance ones I've gotten. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just talking out my ass. I probably am, but... Yeah, and then down here you have the... in the Not Braille, but... Uh, yeah, Braille. Braille. No, Morse code. Morse code. Morse, not Morse. Morse code. I wonder if it has that in the back of the book, like like the original version. We'll have to check in just a second. Alright, then we got... Oh, yeah! Hell, yes. Yeah, there we go. Man, that is nice. That is really, really nice. Man, that's my favorite so far. Devil's neck is at an odd angle, but, uh, yeah. Man, that is so nice. Okay, we got another one? Looks like we got one more, yeah, and then the and then the cover art. Wow. Hell yes. Okay, let's see if they got the, uh, do they have the Morse code, I wonder? Um, notes, confession, gotcha. Anyways, so yeah, and then you got the back of it back here. Yeah, it's very, very, very sexy. Let's see if there's anything that we missed up in the front matter. 
uh, to Lenora Love Always. This is the first printing of the Artist Gift Edition, printed in China. What possessed me, how I wrote horns. That's cool. I didn't pay too much attention to what this one, yeah, to what all the features this one had. Yeah. I'm very happy with it. Uh, sent up press. You definitely have a, a winner here. And I'm looking forward to going through it at my own my own pace. That is a absolutely gorgeous addition. This of course is not actual wood. It's just a, a slip case just like the ones you get with Cemetery Dance. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together. Man, this is this is so so nice. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. I didn't think anybody would come along and kind of, you know, take Cemetery Dance's place because PS I've, I've never been a fan of PS Publishing. Dark Regions Press is okay, but from from my for the bang for my buck, I go with uh I go with Cemetery Dance always. And I'm looking forward to uh Brian Freeman's Brian James Freeman's new press. I can't get this thing back in here. I don't want to force it. There we go. Um, I'm looking forward to Brian James Freeman's new press. He's doing Revival later on this year in December, I think. So I'm looking forward to that. Anywho, so uh, that's the Sunt Up edition of Joe Hill's Horns. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me while we went through it. I'm very, very happy with this edition. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another special edition unboxing. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!